Okay, uh, from my previous videos, you might remember that we've daisy chained all of the LEDs and the ping pong balls together. So this is the first one in the chain. We go down this way, up to that one, back across, up to that one, back across, and so on. Uh, we've got 144 pixels, so normally we'd number these from 0 to 143, but we've also got a sacrificial pixel at the beginning that's acting as a voltage level converter. So these balls are actually, or these pixels in the balls are really numbered 1 to 144. The first test program we did was literally just light each ball in turn, starting at 1 and working up to 144. So we saw them lighting in this serpentine fashion. fashion. In this test, what we've done is we've created a little function that I can, I regard this as being pixel zero, zero. So these are columns zero through 11 and rows zero through 11. So what I've done is create a little loop that says go from row zero to row 11 and then inside that loop, another loop, go from column zero to column 11 and light them up in turn. So what we should see is the pixels lighting from here to here, the first row, then the second row, then the third row, and then the third, fourth row. And to do this, we've created a little function that we pass in the x, y values we want, and it returns us the number of the pixel in the chain. And we're going to be using that later on. That function is going to be critical to all of the things we do in the future. So let's power it up and see it rock into action. So going from first row, column zero to column 11, second row, third row, and so on. So everything's working just the way we expected. And the next step, as I say, will be to use that function to start creating programs like just random pixels coming on, uh, and eventually a snake that will wend its way around. Later on, I'm going to be able to control the snake with my joystick, uh, and we'll just take it step by step by step. So until next time.